guys, Katie Cleaver here, and we are going to talk about orthopedic nurse duties. So these are the things that you, as an orthopedic nurse, are going to be doing on an orthopedic inpatient hospital unit. So the patients that you would be taking care of are people recovering from pretty major surgery. That includes hip replacements, knee replacements, spine surgeries, recovering from traumas and fractures that had to be set in the OR. So lots of devices, lots of things that you're going to be managing. So as that nurse taking care of those patients, there's a few things that you're going to be responsible for. The number one thing is probably pain management. All of these patients have had very serious surgeries and they all come with um, an expected amount of pain, in particular knee, pain, knee replacements and back uh, surgeries. They have very different kinds of pain, but very serious pain nonetheless. Um, doesn't matter how healthy the person is going in before, there is still going to be some pain. Um, there's no way to recover without it, and you as the nurse are the one who is responsible for managing it. Now the physicians are going to order the different medications, but you're the one giving to them to the patient on a specific schedule um, and making sure that works, talking to the provider to make sure that this schedule is optimal for the patient and is something that will work going home, um, lots of reassurance with the patient. And, and timing that all appropriately. So it's a pretty big task of an orthopedic nurse. Um, the next one is you are going to be working closely with those surgeons and their um, advanced practice providers like nurse practitioners and physician assistants or residents as well. Um, you're going to have to collaborate with them, know their preferences. Like you may have some surgeons who want specific things after their knee replacements, but a different surgeon want, wants different things afterwards. And and it's your responsibility as you get used to that unit to learn those um, surgeon preferences and learn how they take care of their patients and what they expect afterwards, okay? The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to work closely with physical therapy and occupational therapy. Orthopedic procedures really impair a person's ability to take care of themselves, um, whether that's walking to the restroom, sitting on the toilet, or brushing their teeth, or feeding themselves, or getting themselves food somehow. Um, you know, there's a lot that gets impaired. There are a lot of goals that they have to reach that are very specific, and pain management ties very closely in there with those goals. So therapy is going to be ordered on all of your patients and you're going to have to coordinate your pain management plan with them and the time that they work with your patient and ensure that that is happening and that they're meeting the goals set by physical therapy and that whatever resources are set up for discharge, you know, go with the therapist's recommendation um, and all that. It's, it can be kind of a complex process. Um, and that brings me to my last point of you're also responsible for ensuring a safe discharge home. So those surgeons round on their patients once a day, but you're the eyes and ears that are there 24 hours a day. So if your patient does not appear safe um, to go home, if there's concerns that the physician isn't aware of, if there are needs, it's your job to communicate those. You're going to be working closely with case management and social work as well as therapy services and the physician to make sure all the ducks are in a row to make sure that that patient can go home and does okay. These orthopedic surgeries, while they used to have quite a longer period in the hospital to recover, now it's one, maybe two nights in the hospital at most and these patients are going home to do most of their recovery. Um, and rehabilitation so it's your job as the nurse to ensure that it's not only like have all the resources but that you educate the patient as well and reinforce those orders from the physician and physical therapy um, and that they know who to call with questions and that they've got everything with them and as soon as you get those patients discharged you're going to be admitting new ones and the circle of life continues right <laughs> so to summarize pain management, working with surgeons, working with PT, and safe discharge home is some of the duties that you would have as an orthopedic nurse working in a hospital. If you have just been hired on an ortho unit or you're looking to work in that area, or maybe you even have clinicals for the orthopedic unit and you want to get ahead of the game, I have a resource for you. It's called Ortho Strong, a crash course for new orthopedic nurses. It is written by a nurse practitioner who works with some of the best orthopedic nurses and best orthopedic surgeons in the entire country. So um, she's created this full course. I've got a link to it in the description of this video so that you can check it out. All right. Thanks, nurses. Stay fresh.